Testing. 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 Okay, I think it's working now. Testing. Okay, I think it's working now. Testing. Yeah, so it's working for some reason that mic box so if I do this, what is gonna happen? So it's working. Yeah, so it didn't do anything. Okay, well. Sorry to everyone that had to listen through all that. Um, I'm not sure why it's going to static. Whenever I use RTX Voice. Um, I'm trying to use Streamlabs here instead of... Hey, no worries, Scorpion. Uh, trying to use Streamlabs here instead of OBS so that I can keep my OBS settings because having separate audio tracks works better for recording. But on the live stream last time I tried it, it didn't work out very well. So let me try one thing and then we'll just get started. You may just have to hear my clicking noises, unfortunately. I'll have to work on that for next time. So if I do this. Testing, testing. When I test the audio, it sounds fine. So, one thing, and we'll just get started. You may just have to hear clicking noises at some point. Let's do this. Testing, testing. When I test the audio, it sounds fine. So, I think it's fine now. So I'm using RTX voice. Let's see if you can hear the keys. I think it's fine now. So I'm using RTX voice. 
Let's see if you can hear the bees. Yeah, so it's working now. Okay. I'm thinking maybe taking out that. There were a few audio sources that were still on that were probably causing an echo and a bunch of weird staticky stuff. Uh, should have tested this beforehand. Unfortunately, with work and everything, I wasn't able to uh, prior to this. So, we're going to spend about, time was it, about 45 minutes or so doing some of the more menial stuff, but I thought this would be a really cool way to test out live streaming with o OBS Streamlabs. Just because I don't have a ton of familiarity with it, one of those things I'll just have to kind of learn by doing a bit. And it'll be good because that way we can keep the streaming settings separate. So the whole goal for this live stream... <clears throat> And I may end up chopping it up anyways. I don't know if it's recording. Let's check that. Okay, now I'm recording. So, recording and doing the live stream. Okay. So the goal of this live stream is to start a foundation here. And I have a general idea for what I want. Uh, I, I'm not very special when it comes to building in this game. Literally just do a giant tower. Uh, especially after we take out the Black Ant Hill boss. We'll get the option to have a zip line that can go up and down. Like we can go up and down the zip line. It'll be great for when we need to go over to the, the upper yard. But it's going to take a really long time to build that tower. I mean, I remember when I did it for my original save, it probably took... I don't know, five, ten hours. And that's if you're, like, deliberately doing it. So... Good news is we don't have any guys trying to raid us or anything. Gonna get a little crowded here for a little while. Good, good. Okay. Not going to worry about that because there's a leaf that always gets in the way. Honestly, we'll probably leave that corner out of it. Okay. I feel a little less squishy now. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stems around here. I 
Timber. Nice. A lot of stems. So I'll have to build some stairs. Looks like we got most of the stems. Sometimes they get stuck up in the grass. Nice and clean. What's up, little ant? Go ahead and build some stairs. I don't want them reaching all the way to the ground. Because we could have a few ants or something show up. So, where is it? Honestly, I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. I don't really like having the door on the side here. But that may be a good idea. Like, we could just have a floor here. Then you go up, and there's a... Door. Um... Door frame. Wait a second. Sturdy door. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> More stems. Okay. There's some back here. The good thing is they regrow. So we can use up all the ones around this immediate area to get started on the building process and then just do a few normal episodes and then come back to it. So it makes it a lot easier. That's why I love this area. There's a lot of resources. Okay. That looks pretty decent. Oh, it opens that way. Whoops. Yeah, that's better. Oh, do, 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 do. 
It's a shame, but if I build... Yeah. I'll have a little bit of a leaf on this one, but if I do another block here, we're going to have, like, a substantial amount of leaf. What we could do is on the next story, build over, and then we won't have any overlap. So that's an option. <clears throat> Oh, look. It's like a little stairway. Hello. Yeah, sorry about that, Scorpion. Looked like there was some, some mic issues. And I, I genuinely don't know what I changed other than I um, muted a few sources, audio sources that were for some reason on there, so I think it was kind of echoing off of each other weirdly. Uh, I don't know, audio and video editing. I'm very much a computer nerd, but those are not in my wheelhouse, and so I'm looking forward to learning all of it. Not all of it, but dabbling, I should say. Use something to drink. Yeah, yeah. Should those be two? Sure. Why not? All right. That looks pretty good. Should probably, you know, drink something. Do we have any food? And while we're doing this, we do, we do have juicy. We'll just do this while we're here. Just makes things easier. This is probably not a good idea. Fun fact if you're low on food, Tiny Pete needs food badly. The, the poisoning that you get from drinking dirty water it really isn't that bad. So just have to wait for the timer to run down. Which it looks like it has. 
And then I just need to eat food. I'm good to go. Of course, I don't have any food, so that's that's pretty important. <laughs> any mushrooms? Better than starving, I think. Tiny Pete needs food badly. Hey, buddy. Did they change this? No, they did not. Okay. For a second there, I thought they changed the poison mechanic. So while that's cooking... Actually, we'll go ahead and move this back up, because I don't want the ants to eat it. While that's cooking, let's, uh... Perfectly fine. Good! Sorry, I don't have a second monitor yet, so I'm kind of having to just like tab in and out. Uh, fortunately, Streamlabs has a pretty easy text chat, so I can just kind of tab in and look real quick. There's a lot of weeds back here, and I found this out on my however many th playthrough, like 12th playthrough. I always build right here just because I think it's like the perfect area. Um, there used to be a point where the wolf spider AI, like they would, they would kind of wander over here, so it made it pretty dangerous at the beginning. But it seems like they don't do that anymore, uh, as far as I can tell. But I really, really love how the building is in this game. I think it's very satisfying. Good. Now we got our food up. There's some stems over there. Uh, we'll leave you alone. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I kind of went on a Starfield binge because I didn't want any of the story to be spoiled for me. And there were a couple times where it almost was, and so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go through it. So literally, I have Starfield videos like ready until November, <laughs> because I just kept recording it over and over again for the last week and a half. And uh, <clears throat> I'm really, really impressed. Like the story is. People give it a lot of hate, which I mean that always happens with Bethesda games, and then. Half the time, those people end up playing those games for like five years. <laughs> um, but I, I really think it's a pretty solid storyline, especially if you take it slow and don't like rush it like half of the people have been saying. I, I rushed it just for the sake of not getting the story spoiled. Um, but it's, I mean, it's, it's surprisingly good. So anyways, back to Grounded. I'm also, I'm probably going to do like a new game plus, and then after that one I'll probably live stream it, because I want to get all the way through all the new game plus stuff. Building in this area is also very, very um, calming. Especially if you don't uh, deal with Director Schmechter or any of that. <clears throat> Sorry, not Director Schmechter. Um, the job o -matic thing. Because once you do that, you'll get like random fire ants here. But before then, it's very, very peaceful. Okay. I think we're going to go too high. I think that's smart. I think we're... That probably looks a little weird, but honestly I like having the, the view. So we're going to just copy everything the way that it is. We'll probably end up doing a little bouncy thing over here. 
I think we still have enough stems that we haven't chopped down yet to finish up this. Oh, I should go ahead and do that, yeah. Okay. What's up, Aphid? this instead of repairing it. That was a lot of stems. I'd rather not upgrade this one just because the termite axe is relatively easy to get. But we may end up doing it. Actually I may have larva spikes. Uh, real quick. Good, we do have enough stuff. We have a dew collector moving up in the world. Probably need several of those dew collectors, honestly. It, you get so thirsty so easily in this mode. Like, the only thing that I don't like about what mode is how, you know, you have to manage your hunger and thirst like crazy. Unless you upgrade it, but that's usually the last thing I upgrade. Is it this one? Nope. No water filtration tablets needed. Okay, so we've exhausted our stem resources over here. There's a few more over here. So we may not be able to finish this level. Uh, we can we can go farther out. I don't, I don't know if it's worth it. Just the amount of time it takes to log back and forth. I think it would be a better use of time. What are you doing, little guy? It'd be a better use of time just to let them all respawn and do other things. So we'll build up as much as we can, and then we'll focus on getting our storage up. That's the most important thing, because we were getting a little crowded. Oh, maybe we will finish depending on what that gives me. Yeah, it won't be fun. Uh oh, don't break. Don't break. Nice. Get the mints? No, it did not. Okay. gonna do this let's see first thing we'll go ahead and do this just to have sort of a roof and it gives us the opportunity to build 
angled upward. I think, yeah, I think we'll we'll end up having the trampoline right here. Yeah. So do that. We also need, yeah, half floors. Usually use those for shelves. So how are we gonna have this? This area can be the kitchen. That's usually what I do. So once I get an actual oven, put it right there. Up here can be chest. That'd be fine. All right. Hmm. I'm thinking we put a bed up there. Let's see. Oh, right, I haven't researched crow feathers yet. That'd be a good spot. At the worst, we could put... At the worst, we could put ovens or something up there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have the kitchen be here, so we'll have, like, the cooking thing over here. We'll have the fridge over there, and then we'll have two ovens up here. This, we can put, like, the little... Well, that's, that's going to be the little bug elevator. For right now, we can put the lean-to here. And then we'll just have some... Uh, basic storage. Nah, I don't like it like that. So we could do that. I spy. Like that. Maybe we just have storage on the second floor. Hmm. Yeah, I think we do that. So for now, we'll just kind of cram everything in here. Would not be a bad idea to make a pallet. Tablet, boom, crude rope, sprig. Easy enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's always rope. Rope is always the thing I need more of. Six, seven, eight, nine. What are you doing, little guy? Yeah. 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 
Oh. Okay, we're gonna punch him to death. Time to cram all this in here. Well, I guess for now we can just... I'm gonna build a little... <clears throat> a little shelf here for now and then just uh, take it off. So, half floor. Floor. Good stuff. Whoops. Honestly, this isn't a uh, bad spot for this. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. For now, at least. Okay. All right. Where do we want this? That there. It's fine. Ant spotted! It's going to be a little crammed right now, but that's okay. Dr. Schmechter, these... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then... What progress has been made on Kobolin space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I, I know it's been months, but the Embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ah, uh, too bad for you. Prepare the specimens for termination. What? Not cool, ma'am. This isn't what I signed up for. Another vision, okay. another piece well. of the puzzle falls into place. This director Schmechter was the person experimenting on me. Yeah, he's not a Why? nice guy. 
The scientists mentioned something called raisining. Could this be connected to Dr. Tully? Maybe Burgle knows more. Probably does, but we're not going to go visit him. Oh, right. Okay, let's go. Let's go check and see if the muscle sprouts are ready. And they got to be close. I don't know. Oh. Can I... Okay, this is stressing me out a little. If I can't save this, I'm going to be upset. I mean, it should have auto-saved, but still. Ladybug! Reminds me I need to get the ladybug shield, but that'll come later. Can you see? No, you can't. Okay. When I tab out, I was making sure that you couldn't see the Streamlabs stuff. Right on time, there's a water cooler here. I think there is, yeah. Please be up here. No. That is unfortunate. What time is it? Okay. I've got about 10 minutes here. So here's what I'm thinking. I never uh, turned on the thingamadoodle. The thing, um, what's it called? Resource analyzer. I never turned that on. That would be extremely helpful so that I'd never have to, like, just randomly come back here and hope that the muscle sprouts have respawned. Also helps with finding gum, which I need for some of the better smoothies. I've kind of been wasting some of these smoothie ingredients because I didn't have gum. So that would make it a lot easier. Uh, so, I think we're going to go grab that. We can grab a few milk molars there. It may take more like 20 minutes, but that'll be okay. Yeah, we have a... I mean, our inventory's fine. So we need to go over here. I think there's like three milk molars I can get over here. So that'll be a good use of time. I'm probably not going to look up where exactly they all are this time, just because I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, we don't have to have more food, we're fine. I have almost 40 bandages. <laughs> That's crazy.
There's a bombardier over here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, no, no. No larva. Hey, no, 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 no. Uh, that's a really good spot to kill bombardiers if you're not confident with uh, two or more of them at the same time. Because a lot of places they're coupled up. And here's where we found the four leaf clover. I can almost never find it when I need to. It's always I find it randomly. So that's where we are. Okay. I'll try and make a mental note. Probably won't work. And then at night, the wolf spider over that leaf likes to patrol over here, so it gets a little dicey. And there's two bombardiers over there and a bunch of larvae right over there. Ooh. There's a milk molar that is a huge pain to get to on top of that. We're not going to go for that. Um, involves building a whole bunch of stuff. I just... Today is not going to be the day for that, but if we go over here, yeah, please save. Thank you. If we go over here, like, way back. Ooh, dandelion. Whoa. Yeah, we don't need that right now. If we go way back here, there's a tooth. I should probably get a few berries while I'm here too. Do we have? We don't have any arrows. <laughs> that would help. That would help. I must have put them in the uh, chest. Whoops. So there's the milk molar. Is it? Yeah. We need to go the old-fashioned way. I was gonna say we did unlock the uh, shortcut. Let me. I don't think there's a milk molar in this area with the crashed thingies, but we're gonna make sure. I'm not fighting you, spider. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's not. There is a mixer. Okay. So, I think this is where the shortcut is, the unlock. But either way, we gotta go this way because on top of the juice box, there's a milk molar. Ugh, forgot about that spider. I can take him, I just do not want to at all. The spider armor is pretty solid as well. Um, I used to use it back when it used to give quickness, which is what these uh, slippers have. That was really, really good because you could just zoom, which in a game like this where there's no fast travel and it's actually a pretty big map, it's uh, very nice. But then they changed that and I think it gives stamina recovery now, I believe, which is still good. Uh, but... The ladybug slick option, whoops, that gives you, I think, extra healing. What does it do right now? Block, probably. Block more. Feeling a little safer now. Block more. Blah, 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 blah. Occasional heal after blocking attacks. Okay. Scarlet Embrace used to always work. It was crazy. Like it was, it was like a permanent bandage. Like it would just always heal you. And then they, they nerfed it a bunch of times, but still really, really, really good. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Um, it's still incredible. I, I think as far as tier 2 armors go, there are a lot of like really good ones. And Obsidian does a really good job of 
their armor system in this. Uh, I would say it's probably my favorite armor system besides what, I mean, I'm, I'm a Bethesda fanboy, so all the stuff that Bethesda does, I appreciate. Okay. So this is, I've done this without building before. And we're going to see if we can do it again. Where are you? We're going to see if we can do it. I imagine they are. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Wow, that's probably the quickest I've ever gotten up here. Good stuff. Man, there was, must have been no help in that dandelion. This is moderately terrifying! So here's where we forgot to go last time. We were here. I'm holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? Who knows, Pete? Who knows? Where are you at, boys? Dude. Okay, well that was easy. Might loaf. Sure, why not? Little fed attack stamina, that's nice. Verbal transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. Science. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you, Mark Force, not to mention your most excellent mustaches. <laughs> Thank you. I will never forget this moment. And here we go. We're actually about to go to that spot. This thing is so useful. I mean, I used to never use it, but Stabby. the surveyor connection established. Creepy voice. Use survey um, to scan for I used to never use it, but one of the main things I use it for is just to see if muscle sprouts have regrown. To expand the survey network. Where there's spiderling, there's spiderlings. Okay, so now we need to go over to the base. Not the base, but the the hedge lab. Is there any water in here? No. Go over to the hedge lab. And I know we're I'm trying to think of where. I think there's two. Also, I don't have a dandelion, and I think I have to jump down. So I don't, I don't know how that'll go. Uh, the hedge mother is over there. Not a fun time, but we'll do that probably within a few episodes, I'd imagine. Especially since they added her armor. That's actually a pretty decent armor. There's a spiderling running around here. Let me alone, let me alone, let me alone. Thank you. Shh. 
Is there a way to do this without dying? I don't think I have Daredevil. Nope. Ugh. Okay. Maybe we can... Good thing is saved, okay. ourselves up. Good stuff. Alright. There's one right up here. Don't remember if we got it yet. Oh, hello. Hello. Alright, Orb Jr. You don't bother me, I don't bother you, alright? My buttons are messing up, I can't use them for some reason. Okay, you leave me alone. I, I don't want to deal with you right now. So there was that one, there's another one right up here. And I think there's another one on our way to the BLT recipe. Yeah. Yeah, I can't hit escape, that's weird. My HUD must be messed up. Sweet. Can we jump on here? That would save us a lot of trouble. Yep. Good stuff. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a tooth up here. Somewhere. Oh, I think it's more towards the intersection. So, if we go up here... I also have to remember where the branch is that deviates. Hey, there we go. I think we have enough to get an extra mutation slot, which is huge. Alright, so where is the branch? Is it over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So the hatch drop off. We'll go down here. There's this branch, right? Then we jump on this. Up here. Do this. Oh boy. Is that a tooth? It is. Ooh. What 
What do you mean my roast spoiled? It's sad. I'm holding raw science. Scabby? In what does it even mean? Scabby V2. Wait. Eleven. Ooh. I don't like that. Sewage. Shower. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> Sad stab. I actually like that one. Nope. That's nice. I, I like that. Bug juice is nice. Classic. That's nice. Let's do bug juice for the day mode. Ghost mint for night. Alright. So this teaches us how to make the BLT, which is what you need for the brood mother. It's a summoning item. Oops. So now we need an oven. I don't remember if we can make an oven yet. It's a, one of the chips gives you the option. Yeah, okay. All right, we need charcoal chunks. That's in the upper yard. Uh, the rest of this is easy. Okay. How do I get down? <laughs> Okay, good stuff. Now we can take the shortcut out of here. Let's make sure we have... Yeah, we do. We have Natural Explorer on. That should keep me safe. Mm, safer. Uh, can't go that way. By the way, don't touch that. It'll kill you, at least on a different battery that I tried it on. It did. Am I missing any teeth? I don't think so. Actually, there may be one more spot. Uh, we'll go and check. Leave me alone. Uh, hey, no, no. No, no. no very nice of you. Okay, I can get up there. Okay. Um, I think this is the spot where there's two hidden ones. Way back here. Did not mean to do that, but that's fine. No water filtration tablets needed. Alright, so there should be two. There's gonna be one really close to here. There's gonna be a regular one and a gold one. If my memory serves me correct. see me, okay? We're fine. Okay, so we got the first one. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't think I am, but... Oh, 
Right. Okay. Okay. This is making me think I'm less crazy because I remember a stink bug. Well. Hey, see you, Scorpion. Thanks for stopping by. Oh. <laughs> good to go now we just head back to the house and check on our upgrades do we really have anything yeah we've got a few things we need to put up While we're here, we'll do this. So, we're gonna increase... Okay, I think we just hold on until we get one more. Uh, yeah. Increase max consumables. Easy. So, we just need one more regular milk molar, which I think I know where one is pretty close, but we're not gonna do that during this live stream. I if I could keep that aphid as a pet. So, we got a lot accomplished, and then we got the, uh, the base started. Uh, ooh, hello. Ooh, good. Okay, so we scoop. Alright, people. I think we're gonna call it there. Need some lights in here. I think they're called sconces. Yep. Pull in like here, here. Let's go ahead and take care of this real quick. At least a few of them just get a little bit of light going. I think I need like one more. And one for safety. Two for safety. started well thank you everybody for watching um that went pretty successful I, I just you know need to figure out the mic stuff but i hope you all enjoyed it 
and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.